Hey YouTube, how's it going today? Today, we're getting back on some more rims. More K&M stuff. Stick around, show you what we got. All right, thanks for sticking around. Today, we're working on some Can-Am four-wheeler rims, just like those. We're outside in my sandblast pile, getting ready to sandblast these rims. We're gonna strip them down, sandblast them up completely, give them a nice, fresh, new look. See if we can't get rid of some of this uh, curb rash. Only downside, it's a four-wheeler. We know they're gonna go get some more curb rash on them, but hey, they'll look good doing it. So stick around, I'm gonna load up the sandblaster and uh, see if I can't make these, start getting them ready, make them clean. So stick around, we'll be right back. Hey, welcome back. We're continuing on with these Can-Am rims here. I got them ready to go to just about where I'm gonna be out gassing them. You can see they're sandblasted down, nice and clean. A lot of bead. The back side. So we're going to uh, get ready to go. Get ready to get them done. Outgassed. So some color to them, and that way I can get them back to the customer. So stick around. We're gonna outgas these. And you, next thing you know, we'll be spraying the black. So stick around, here we go. Hey everybody. I think it's time to start spraying some primer on these rims. What do you think? We have them all in cast. They've been in the oven for about an hour and a half at 400 degrees. So they should be nice and outgassed by now. So now we're gonna get spraying our oak gas forgiving primer on them. These are aluminum rims, so I don't need to worry about the zinc primer. Uh, the oak gas forgiving primer, if there's any any crap left in the the aluminum, it should help make it a, a smoother finish overall. So I've got the primer loaded up in my gun. So now we're gonna spray some primer. Here we go. Thanks for sticking around everybody. We're just getting ready to spray some black on those Can-Am rims. But uh, I just had a customer drop some parts off that is going to make a nice video here shortly. I'm going to give you a sneak peek at them. That's what they look like right now. If you're looking at them, let me know if you think you know what kind of a valve cover they are. What they're off of. I won't give any hints yet. I'll see if anybody wants to answer that question. But uh, I'm going to be working on them here shortly. I got another set of GMC rims that's going first. And then I got these valve covers. And uh, some Harley parts. So we're going to be spraying a lot of stuff here shortly. So, however, back to what we're doing. We have... A nice coat of primer on them as you can see nice smooth finish ready for some gloss black I've got the gloss black loaded in the gun and right there ready to go so here we go I'm gonna go put on a breathing mask and sit back and watch the the powder fly Hey everybody, thanks for sticking around. Hey, guess what time it is. It is time to show you what these Can-Am rims look like. However, before I do, go hit that subscribe button, hit like, drop a comment. In the meantime, 
now that you've done that, now that you've hit that subscribe button, right? No, well, if you did, thanks. If not, I hope to see you back on another video watching. But for now, we're going to show you what these rims look like. And here we have the Can-Am rims all done. They've done up a nice high gloss, shiny black. As you can tell by the, the reflection on there, he's going to look real good right up until the time he hits a nice mud hole. However, until that time, they're going to be nice. You can see all the, the reflections going there. So, again, that set of rims are done. Now onto the next set. I got some GMC rims that I'm going to be uh, powder coating as well. And then I got that mysterious set of header or valve covers that I just showed you a few minutes ago. So if anyone has any idea what they are, drop a comment. Let me know what you think they are. And uh, when I get ready to do them, we'll drop the video and see if you're right. So till next time, hit that subscribe button. Remember to stay warm, keep it loud.